Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday and sometimes I can get another one in during the week or on the weekend. So in this week's tutorial, I am gonna show you how to make this cup. So a couple weeks ago, I posted how to apply a jump ring. And so I got quite a few requests how to do this cup. So that's what this video entails. I do change the color. I added just a little bit of a different twist to it. So thank you all for stopping by. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to check out my Facebook channel or Facebook page, <laughs> two of them, the GMI Superstars, as well as my own personal, it's a craft thing. And if you're interested to see what I came up with this week, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So after I've sanded and prepped my cup, normally I spray paint it, but because it's really cold and um, it's just not a good time to spray outside, I also want to just show you an alternative. You can use acrylic paint to coat your cup with the colors that you want to use in the glitter. So what I did here was I measured, I split the cup in half. I measured up four, this cup is eight, so I measured up four inches and I did it all the way around and then I taped it as my guideline. So I'm gonna come in and paint my first coat of white paint, white acrylic paint. It doesn't matter what kind you use. It's whatever you have on hand or whatever your favorite is. And I'm gonna give it one coat. I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel that tape off. Dry times are gonna vary depending on your room, but I would let it go for at least an hour. And then I'm gonna come in with my black paint. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna go up against that line. You don't have to be 100% perfect because you are gonna put a, you know, a strip around there, but just get it up as close as you can and try not to overlap too much. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give each coat, I'm gonna give, ah, my train of thought. So I'm gonna do this twice. So I'm, it's gonna wind up ultimately with two coats of white and two coats of black. And I'm also going to paint the bottom of the cup black. This is optional. You can leave it stainless steel if you want. In that case, you would have taped it off. All right, so I have my two coats of white and two coats of black. And so now I'm going to I'm going to adhere my glitter using the epoxy method. And so I'm going to take a very little amount, about five mLs, and I'm going to spread it down the cup. So you want this to be a nice thin coat. You don't want it to be too thick. If it's too thick, your glitter could run I, because I am going to hang dry this. Now you could put it on your turner if you want. I, you know, didn't feel it necessary to when you do a super thin coat to clog up your turners with a cup that's drying. So I just put it on the cup stand and let it air dry. So I'm using a quick set epoxy. So within two hours, this is gonna be ready to put my first coat of epoxy on. So if it's really, really hard and your cup is cold, you can warm your cup up to make the epoxy spread even, you know, evenly and easier. Cause sometimes in the winter time, your cups are pretty cold and it, you know, the epoxy does not like the cold surfaces. It doesn't like being cold and it doesn't like cold surfaces. So just be aware of that. So now that I've got the whole cup, the whole cup coated, I am gonna go in with my glitter. So this is diamond dust and this is it guys i am just using only diamond dust on this cup so with this glitter what happens is up at the top the white it brings all that white and that silver out and makes it really really shine but when you put this diamond dust over black it turns this really gorgeous silver color so it eliminates the need for two colors it also eliminates uh any m color mixing so if you had silver on the bottom and white on the top and then you have to do you know a bunch of steps to seal and make sure that the glitter is not traveling into each other so um, this is a real easy way to use one color and not have to worry about it going into each other so i did you don't have to seal this i did seal it with one coat of krylon triple thick but you don't have to just to make sure that a lot of the loose glitter stayed and you didn't lose any of it so i mixed up 30 mls of epoxy and i am again using a quick set on this first coat and i'm just applying it all over the cup and look you don't have to worry about um 
the colors blending in each other because it's all the same color like how cool is that so we're just going to do that and after two hours it's going to be ready for another coat so i'm going to put two coats of epoxy on this before i am ready to uh, do a sand clean the rim and then go and start with my decals after i'm done applying my epoxy i always hit it with a torch to pop any bubbles or micro bubbles if you get a little sloppy with your epoxy like I did here, just take your craft knife and go ahead and trim around that edge going um, on the inside in a downward motion. Be careful, your craft knife is really sharp or should be really sharp. If you're having a particularly stubborn spot where it doesn't want to come up, you can heat up your craft knife and that will help release the epoxy. The epoxy doesn't like heat, so uh, it cuts through it when the knife is hot very, very easily. So go ahead and clean around that rim. Make sure that you uh, sand the rim as well and just take it down a hair so that you see a little bit of the stainless steel at the top showing. This way the epoxy comes up and seals your glitter to the cup. Go ahead and sand out any pokey. Now with this cup, I'm gonna be applying clear water slide. So after I get done sanding and wiping it down with 91% alcohol, I am gonna give it a coat of polyacrylic to shine it back up. If you put a clear water slide over top of a matte surface, you're gonna see that. So you want it to be shiny. So here I am just wiping it down with the 91% alcohol. You could also wash it with Dawn dish soap. It's completely up to you what you wanna do, maybe depending on the amount of debris that's on the cup. And then I am gonna come in with that polyacrylic and just do the top part. You don't really need to do the bottom part. Just uh, put on a glove and dab a little bit on and let it dry for about a half an hour to an hour. Dry times, again, vary depending on the temperature in your room. While that polyacrylic is drying, I am gonna go ahead and print or cut my decals and weed them out. It's kind of a pain when you're dealing with, you know, a bigger piece, but just be patient and go ahead and make sure you get all those little pieces. Now, in the first one, I took all these little pieces and used them as spacers, but I forgot to do that in this one, so I'll show you how I fix that. All right, so my cup is nice and dry and I'm ready to apply my vinyl. So I'm gonna start with the black holographic strip and I am gonna go around the center and split the difference between the gray and the white. And I'm just gonna roll the cup and apply this. So just, uh, like I, it's weird how you do it. Like it's kind of like a roll and take your finger and slide it on to press it down. And I found this to be the easiest way for me to do it. And then just give it a good press after you've applied it. Then I'm gonna come in with the second stripe and I'm gonna come down, maybe, I don't I don't know the measurement of how far I come down. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a lip up there. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that and I've taken it to the top of the cup is so that I can get a good seal of this vinyl on top of the glitter. That's what I wanted to say. So here I am coming in with my second strip, the blue, and I am just following, I'm just centering it and uh, putting it all, you know, on the top and the bottom stripe. Now I'm just going to apply my Boss Babe decal. So in the first one, I applied it lower. I went a little bit higher this time because after, after, you know, I looked at the cup, I realized that I thought that it, the Boss Babe was a little bit too low because I applied that flower. So I uh, raised it up a little bit. So now here comes the fun part, and I say that with much sarcasm, and wrapping this around. I'm, I'm not one to, people place the decals one by one. I don't have the patience for that. So what I do is I do kind of like the hinge method. I measure it up, and then I pull that back, and I just go around the cup and apply it like you would, you know, a big old vinyl piece if you were doing a vinyl wrap, if you're familiar with that. If you're not, this is a half vinyl wrap. So I'm just going to peel that back and, you know, press those decals, those spots on, and then make, you know, I've got to peel back the starting point now. At this point, i got to peel back the starting point to get it off. So I do fumble with this a little bit, and it's okay because, you know, life's not perfect. So, but I get everything down, and then um, once you know, I take all of that off is where I realized I need some extra spots and I wound up printing up some more. And like I said, in the first, when I did this cup the first time, I went and I took the extra pieces that I pulled out of the centers of the 
of the circles. I'm going to use that term loosely. Uh, and I put them in the empty spots, but he didn't do this, uh, do it this time. So now I had to print up an extra and then just place it in the spots where I felt like it was a little too bare and it just needed something. All right, so I'm getting that last sticker on. I am happy after, you know, twisting and turning it and looking at it. I'm good with it. So now I'm going to do my water slide. So the first cup I did was pink and I had pink flower tattoos. I did not have blue flower tattoos. So I went on Creative Fabrica and I pulled up blue flowers and I found these. I absolutely love them. So I decided I wanted to use these. I printed them on clear hippo water slide and I will uh, put a link for them and a discount code down below. And um, so I like the hippo water slide because it, it just, you just spray it and wait a couple of, you know, maybe 30 seconds and it releases really nice. Make sure you wet your cup or the surface, uh, the area that you're going to put your water slide on so that it can move around and you can reposition it easier. So I cut the stem off of that one and I left the stems on the rest of them and I'm placing three more around this cup. And again, you know, I just sprayed them and left them sit on the table for about 30 seconds and then they release nice. And the one flower I didn't wet the surface. So what happened was it wasn't able to move around. So then I had to peel it back up and put some water on it and then put it back down. So you have to do that very, very carefully. So, you know, make sure you wet your surface. I did not, you know, and that's the mistake that I make, you know, sometimes when I am going quick and I'm not paying full attention. So I, do I show you fixing that? Yes. Yeah, that's the one where I couldn't, I couldn't peel up. So I had to spray it and, you know, then I was able to reposition it to where I wanted it. So I'm going to also apply butterfly tattoos to this because I had some blue butterfly tattoos when I was searching for blue flowers. I found those and I thought that they would be nice on here. So I am going to now, the tattoos go on differently. So you cut them out and you're going to put them face down. So I'm explaining this to you as if you're not familiar with working with tattoos. And uh, just trim it. You don't have to trim it too close because it's clear. Like the, the outer part is clear, so you don't have to worry about seeing any of those seams or whatever. So you're going to peel that protective film off. You're going to press it down. It's going to be sticky. So wherever you put it is where it's going to stay on the cup. If you try to peel it back up, you're going to ruin the tattoo, and you're going to leave residue on your cup. And it, you can fix that, but I'm just telling you what not to do. So uh, I'm going to put both of them on there and stick them on, spray them with my water bottle, and let them set for about 30 seconds, peel them up, press off the extra water and that's it that is so easy like that's why I love working with tattoos it's so super easy and the dry time is quicker it's much quicker than your white or your clear water slides uh, but like I said I didn't have the blue flowers so I improvised and thank you to Creative Fabrica because they are awesome with their designs so I am done with that I am gonna let that dry for at least an hour minimum an hour because you want to make sure all the water underneath is uh, is dry. So while I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Aileen's Tacket over and over. And if you're not familiar with Aileen's Tacket over and over, it is a glue that dries. It goes on white and dries clear and dries tacky. So it's a really good glue uh, to use when you're working on something like this because you don't have to worry about stopping and doing sections at a time. You can just do all of the cup and then come back and put your glitter on and now my glitter has been drying for about an hour which it doesn't really need to dry but I let it do it anyway I brushed off the excess I'm gonna come in with polyacrylic and a small brush and I'm gonna seal each spot individually and the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want that glitter to tr to migrate when I am putting the epoxy on my cup so now it's time to apply that jump ring. And so make sure the end of your jump ring is closed. See, I have my plier tools and I'm closing that. That's the end that's gonna go down toward into the cup. So I take this little U-tool and this sharp like diamond point blade, and I don't even know what it is. And I'm gonna just basically carve a groove in there so that the jump ring sets in a little bit. And 
The reason why I'm doing this is because it's to try to eliminate that epoxy bubble because that's what's going to be sealing this to the cup is epoxy. And so you don't want too much of an epoxy bubble. You want to try to make it look a little bit like it's set in. So after you're done uh, drilling that out and make sure you clean it off with 91% alcohol, I'm going to take my UV resin and I'm going to put a dot in that well. And I'm going to place the jump ring in the well and I'm going to hold it with the pliers and this is definitely a two hand job and I'm going to make sure I get it where I need it and like my cup is rolling so I've got to get my little my little cup caddy thingy which I made that myself and I will post a link to that up above if you want to see how to make your own little DIY cup caddy and I hold it there and just hold it on for a couple of seconds and then it freezes it in place and then hold your UV light on there for a couple minutes Go in and put a little tiny dab again over top of that, the bottom part of the jump ring. We want to make sure this gets sealed on. You're going to be hanging things off of it, so you want to make sure it's nice and sturdy before you even start with the permanent epoxy process. So I'm just going to put together a little trinket that I'm going to hang for the side. Nothing, nothing like extravagant. It's just a little tassel that I'm going to attach to it. And so now that this is done, I am gonna go ahead and put my first coat of epoxy on. It's gonna take two final coats, and then once I get that on, this cup is done. So I am gonna just do in sections, and I'm gonna be careful around the jump ring. I don't want too much epoxy pooling around it because epoxy likes to pull around things that are 3D on your cup. So I am light-handed with it around that part. But I just, you know, do in sections, get it all on, make sure uh, the entire cup is coated. And then I'm going to come in with a Q-tip moistened with alcohol and I'm going to clean out that jump ring. And that's it, guys. I will be back with my final remarks. All right, guys, she's done. Check her out. I love it in blue. I do, I do. You can really, I mean... Like, I'm like, I want to do this in every color now. I want to, I love this cup. I, it's just, it's so easy. It's so pretty. And, you know, it just, it's a, it's a bold statement. Boss babe. Like, if you're a boss babe, even if you don't own your own business or your small business or whatever, and you consider yourself a boss babe, you're a boss babe of your family, your house, whatever. It's empowering. Make one for yourself. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching and sticking around as usual. To my followers, I want to thank you all. I hit 3,000 subscribers. I am so super excited. I am gradually climbing up there. Next goal, 5,000. I want to get to 5,000 subscribers, guys. So hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment. I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear um, ideas. I want to hear tips. I want to hear your tricks. I want to hear your ideas of things that you want me to do next. So that's it for this week, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.